What's up, y'all? Mr. Williams here with House of Dragon. Been waiting for this shit so long. Let me get this out the way. I am not a medieval guy. I said this shit on Game of Thrones. I am not a medieval guy, all right? But Game of Thrones sucked me in, you know what I'm saying? Suck me in. Like, I love Game of Thrones, you know what I'm saying? Everybody hated season eight, the end, and y'all know how it, how it went down. I wasn't mad at it because I loved all the characters, Baby Doll, Baby Doll 1 and 2, Little Big Man, Thirsty, The Hound, Little Finger, that fucking fake ass Pycelle, Cersei, I loved all those characters, man, I enjoyed the fucking ride, you know what I'm saying, uh, the ending probably didn't work out like everybody wanted it, but I enjoyed the characters, I wasn't really fucking mad like everybody else. So, I was waiting on this shit, you know? House of Dragon, I don't know shit about House of Dragon. Haven't read any books. Don't intend to read. I don't even want to read the books. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I want to watch the show. So, y'all come on with me with this ride. I think it's set like a couple, couple hundred years. Hundred years before Game of Thrones. I'm not sure, two or three hundred years before Game of Thrones. I don't know. But I'm here for it. You know what I'm saying? House of Dragon. Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, and I heard there's like six dragons in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to this shit, y'all. It's been a long time coming. House of Dragon, Game of Thrones is in this bitch. Alright? Hey, here we go. House of Dragon. House of Dragon, episode one. Uh, let me get the drink ready. I'll hold up. Damn, that's it. Had to get me a new bottle. All right, y'all. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Yeah, see that? It's a little baby dragon in the egg. Little baby dragon. I had a subscriber sent me this, you know what I'm saying? Cool, cool subscriber, you know what I'm saying? Little dragon head and the dragon, he ain't hatched yet. No, he haven't. He ain't hatched yet. He ain't, yeah. You gonna come out, little baby? You gonna come out? Huh? Yeah. I'm about to teach you to say, Vakaris. No. Vataris. Volum Volumagulus? No, that's the meaning face god. Dakaris. Dracaris. Y'all know what the fuck I mean. To make the dragon spit fire. What was it? Dakaris? I think it was Dakaris. Anyway, you're gonna learn that shit. Alright, y'all, let's get started. Jaharis was failing. In those days, House Targaryen stood at the height of its strength, with ten adult dragons under its yoke. No power in the world could stand against it. King Jaehaerys reigned over nearly sixty years of peace and prosperity, but tragedy had claimed both his sons, leaving his succession in doubt. So, in the year 101, the old king called a great council to choose an heir. 
Over a thousand lords made the journey to Harrenhal. Fourteen succession claims were heard, but only two were truly considered. Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, the king's eldest descendant, and her younger cousin, Prince Viserys Targaryen, the king's eldest male descendant. It is declared by all lords paramount and lords vassal of the Seven Kingdoms that Prince Viserys Targaryen be made Prince of Dragonstone. Rhaenys, a woman, would not inherit the Iron Throne. The Lords instead chose Viserys. My father. Viserys? Viserys? Jaehaerys called the Great Council to prevent a war being fought over his succession. For he knew the cold truth. The only thing that could tear down the House of the Dragon was itself. Oh, ain't nobody riding that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, the hell it is. What the fuck is this, baby? All? What the fuck? Trust your right, Miss Pleasant. Try not to look too relieved, sir. I am relieved. Every time that golden beast brings you back unspoiled, it saves my head from a spike. Cyrax is growing quickly. She'll soon be as large as Caraxes. That's almost large enough to settle, too. I believe I'm quite content as a spectator. Thank you. Okay. She's gonna be Baby Doll Jr. Okay? Y'all know I gotta get my names together, so y'all gotta give me time. I don't know shit about House of Dragons. All I know is this is Baby Doll Jr. She looked just like Khaleesi. She looked mighty young. How old is she? Like 15 on this bitch? 12? I wonder who's going to be thirsty. She got to have a thirsty. You know what I'm saying? She got to have a jar. Somewhere, she got to have a thirsty. Tyrion Lannister was right. I love you. Goodbye, Khaleesi. Khaleesi, please, Khaleesi, please forgive me, Khaleesi. She gotta have a thirsty. <laughs> Yo, this shit is so dope. We got a dragon on the first fucking episode. First episode. I'm loving this shit already. You know what I'm saying? And we got Baby Doll Jr. This shit is so dope. I'm loving this shit, man. And everybody was talking shit about this. Like, like it was gonna suck ass. You know what I'm saying? They gave you a fucking dragon on the first episode. Damn, this shit remind me of fucking old school Game of Thrones. You know what I'm saying? Don't it remind you of like Aya and Sansa? You know what I mean? Like Aya got blonde hair. You know what I'm saying? And that chick looked like Sansa. Ah, Rhaenyra. You know I don't like you to go flying Rhaenyra. in this condition. Rhaenyra. You know what I mean to go flying when you're in any condition? Your Grace. Good morrow, Alicent. Did you sleep? I slept. How long? I'm going to call her Baby Doll Jr. Whenever. Fuck that. Well, here you are, surrounded by attendants, all focused on the babe. Someone has to attend you. 
You were lying in this bed soon enough for an error. This discomfort is how we serve the realm. I'd rather serve as a knight and ride to battle in glory. <laughs> <laughs> That's I. We have royal wounds, you and I. The child bed is our battlefield. Are you? Are you stark? You must learn to face it with a stiff lip. Now take a bath. You stink of dragon. <laughs> they call him the crab feeder. Due to his inventive methods of punishing his enemies. And are we meant to weep for dead What is that, a crab feeder? No, your grace. Rhaenyra, you're late. King's cup banner must not be late. Leaps people one thing. Yo, this black dude was cool as hell with these dreadlocks. <laughs> On Dragonback? Hey, your grace, at Prince Damon Scargy, the crown has invested significant capital in the retraining and re-equipping of his city ward. I thought you might urge your brother to fill his seat on the council and provide an assessment of his progress as commander of the watch. Do you think Damon is distracted by his present tasks? And that his thoughts and energies are occupied? No, one would hope so, considering his... Is that Pycelle? Then let us all consider your goal well invested, Lord Beesbury. I would urge that you not allow this triarchy much latitude. Who's the Grand Maester? Race. If those shipping lanes should fall, it will beggar our ports. The Crown has heard your report, Lord Corliss, and takes it under advisement. <laughs> what was his name, Lord Who? Shall we discuss the heir's tournament, Your Grace? I would be delighted. Will the Maester's name day prediction hold, Mallows? You must understand that these things are mere estimations, my king, but we have all been pouring... Oh, that's the grand maestro. ...and we feel that our forecast is as accurate as it can be. The cost of the tournament... Why is he fake as hell? Perhaps we might delay until the child is in hand. You know what, Drake? The knights are certainly on their way to King's Landing already to turn them back The tourney will take the better part of a week. Before the games are over, my son will be born. And the whole realm will celebrate. We have no way of predicting the sex of the child. Of course, no maist is capable of rendering an opinion free of conditions, are they now? There's a boy in the queen's belly. I know it. I don't know who the fuck is who. Good, be good. Whoa, look Tell at the Iron now. Throne. God damn, look at all them fucking swords. I bought you something. Is he an elf? Do you know what it is? It's Valyrian steel. My dark sister. That's the king's brother. Now, you and I both are in a small piece of our ancestry. I hope they ain't into no goddamn incest it? shit. Of course I read it. When Princess Nymeria arrived Jamie in the and Cersei. who did she take to hospital? You know what I'm talking about. A man. What was his name? Lord something. If you answer with Lord something, Seth Tomalo will be furious. She's funny when she's furious. Hey, ain't that, that goddamn tree? You're the Stark's tree? You're when you're worried. Like what? Disagreeable. You aren't worried about your position. I like this position. It's quite comfortable. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Home. The hour has grown late. Princess Nymeria led her moin art across the narrow sea on 10,000 ships to flee their Valyrian pursuers. She took Yo, that's where, that's where, uh, her husband and burnt her own fleet off Sunspear to show her people that they were finished running. Dion Greyjoy died. Can you say yet what What the is? fuck? We've sent inquiries to the Citadel. They are searching the text for similar cases. It's a small cut from sitting the throne. It's nothing. Oh, shit! The has been under heavy stresses preparing for the birth. Bad humors of the mind can What do you got, cancer? The body. Whatever it is. Skin cancer? Be kept quiet. You should leech it again, Megan. It's a wound that refuses to heal, Grand Maester. Might I suggest cauterization? Cauterization would be a wise cause of treatment, Your Grace. It will be painful. Fine. Fine. 
Oh, fuck. Something gonna happen to the king. They setting it up. Is this the last time? Is there is. I've lost one babe in the cradle, but two stillbirths and two pregnancies ended well before their time. Damn. That's five. In twice as many years. God damn. I know it is my duty to provide you an heir. And I'm sorry if I have failed you in that I am. I've mourned all the dead children like that. Damn. You might want to try adopting. Do that count? Starving and undisciplined. Now, you're a pack of hounds. Sated, home for the hunt. Oh. The city has fallen into squalor. The hell? Crime of every breed has been allowed to thrive. Oh. No longer. Beginning tonight, King's Landing will learn to fear the color gold. God damn! Get up! Motherfuckers, pack off. Did he just cut this motherfucker's pack off and lay it on the goddamn table? God damn! It was an unprecedented round of criminals of every ilk. Your brother made a public show of it, meeting out. The oh, they were criminals himself. Until they needed a two-horse car. But still! To haul away the resulting dismemberments when it was done. You are to explain your doings with the city watch. He's like a damn white-haired Ramsey. Your new gold cloaks made quite the impression last night, didn't they? Did they? The city watch is not a sword to be wielded at your whim. They're an extension of the crown. The watch was enforcing the crown's laws. Wouldn't you agree, Lord Strong? My prince, I don't Making think a public spectacle of wanton brutality is hardly in line with our laws. Nobles from every corner of the realm are right now descending upon King's Landing for my brother's turning. Do you want them loved, raped, murdered? You might not know this unless you left the safety of the Red Keep, but much of King's Landing is seen by the small folk as lawless and terrifying. Our city should be safe for all its people. I agree. I just hope you don't have to maim half of my city to achieve this. Time will tell. If only the prince would show the same devotion to his lady wife as he does his work, Your Grace. But you've not been seen in the Vale or at Runestone for quite some time. I think my bronze bitch is happier for my absence. Lady Rhea is your wife, a good and honorable lady of the Vale. In the Vale, men are said to fuck sheep instead of women. I can assure you. <laughs> The sheep are prettier. Yeah. God damn! You made a vow before the seven to honor your wife in marriage. I'd jacket give Lady Rare to you, Lord Hightower, if you're in want of a woman to warm your bed. Your own lady wife passed recently. <laughs> God damn! Not... Otto. Yo, this Perhaps dude is savage. Just yet. You know how my brother makes sport of provoking you. Must you indulge him? You weren't gonna do shit no way. Is your grace. You weren't gonna do a goddamn thing. At great expense, better the city watch to your exacting standards. Enforce my laws, but understand. Any further performances like last night's will be answered. Understood, your grace. <laughs> well, somebody getting that yam smashed to pieces. <laughs> What troubles you, my prince? Yo, Game of Thrones, but they love yams, don't they? 
It got to be yams in Game of Thrones. Like yams all the time. Perhaps in my day. I have several. Could even arrange one with Silvera. She got a flat ass though. Lord Damon Targaryen. Right off Karassi's wild old dark sister. The Medieval yams don't never have an ass. Like everybody's ass is just flat as fuck. Is it me or they everybody's ass flat? But I promise you will not be disappointed. When I look at the fine knights in these lists, I see a group without equal in our histories. And this great day has been made more auspicious by the news that I am happy to share. Queen Emma has begun her labors. Oh, hell. Princess Lady is Targaryen. I would humbly ask for the favor of the queen who never was. <laughs> the queen it never was. I would gladly take it if I thought I needed it. What do you know about the Sir Criston Cole? I'm told Sir Criston is common born son of Lord Dondarrion Stuart, but other than that, and the fact that he's just unhorsed both of the Baratheon lights, I really couldn't say. King. Y'all gonna have to bear with me. I gotta figure this shit out. So they don't like each other. Certain I can win these games, Lady Allison. Having your favor. Little bit assured. Good luck, my prince. What's happening? The infant is in breach, Your Grace. All attempts to turn the bank have failed. I mean, they don't got nothing to make her numb or Do nothing. For her. We've given her as much milk for the puppy as we can without risking the child. Your queen is a strong woman. She's fighting with all her might, but it may not be enough. No. Emma. Oh, Emma. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, it's all right. Oh, it's all right. Well, women had it hard. It's been 70 years since God the was as green as summer grass. None have known real war. Their lord sent them to the turning field as fists full of steel and balls full of seed. And they expect them to act with honor and grace. It's a marvel that war didn't break out of first blood. <laughs> One more time. One more time. Marvel that war didn't break out of first blood. During a difficult birth, it sometimes becomes necessary for the father to make an impossible choice. What she have twins? I'll speak it. She might be to having twins. One or to lose them both. Oh, fuck. There is a chance that we can save the child. A technique is taught at the Citadel, which involves cutting directly into the womb to free the infant. But the resulting blood loss... Seven hours pills. Fuck! Man, I don't know 
Don't tell me he finna lose his wife. You can save the child. We must either act now or leave it with the gods. Mm. Yes. 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 Mm. We're going to bring the babe out now. Oh, man. Oh, man, it's mm. going to be fucked up. Oh, my God, it's going to be fucked up. Oh, God damn. Oh, fuck. They're not going to show it on it. I love you. They're going to... Oh, my God! What's happening? No, it's all right. What's happening? What's happening? No, I'm scared of nothing. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. They're going to break the baby. Oh, no. It's all right. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, no. I'm making the first incision. No, no, no. Please don't. 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 Please God damn, that's too much going on. God damn. It's too much going on in this first episode. Can you imagine having a baby in the medieval times? No medicine, no pain medicine, no nothing, no machine, no technology, nothing. Just cut your ass open with nothing, just nothing. Oh. Ass kick. Do some fuck shit. Yo, I know he embarrassed, so I know he. Oh, god damn. Yo, you know she dead as hell after this. I was hoping to ask for the princess's favor. Go to luck, Sir Kristen. Princess. Congratulations, your grace. You have a son. At least they saved the baby, cool. man. At least they saved and the baby. Yeah, you your grace. At least he got a son. I thought it was twins. What? wife went through so much pain so much you can't even imagine that type of goddamn pain and still lost both of them oh my god Oh, 
god! Dracarys! Oh my god! What a motherfucking first episode. What a first fucking episode. Y'all motherfuckers talking about this shit gonna suck because Game of Thrones in it fucked up? Y'all crazy as fuck. Where's Rhaenyra? Your Grace, this is the last thing any of us wish to discuss at this dark hour, but I consider the matter urgent. What matter? That of your succession. These recent tragedies have left you without an obvious heir. The king has an heir. My lord has. Despite how difficult this time is, your grace, I feel it important the succession be firmly in place for the stability of the... I don't family. trust the his ass. The succession is already set. I don't trust him. president and by law. Shall we say his name? For some reason, I don't trust him. The hand of the king. Damon Targaryen. If Damon were to remain the uncontested heir, it could destabilize the realm. The realm? Or this council? No one here can know what Damon would do were he king, but no one can doubt his ambition. He'll kill everybody. What he did with the gold cloaks. The city watch is fiercely loyal to him. An army 2,000 strong. An army you gave him, Otto. I named Damon Master of Laws, but you said he was a tyrant. As Master of Coins, you said he was a spendthrift that would beggar the realm. Putting Damon in command of the city watch was your solution. A half measure your praise. The truth is, Damon should be far away from this court. Damon is my brother. My blood. And he will have his place at my court. Let him keep his place at court, your grace. But if the gods should visit some further tragedy on you, either by design or design? accident... What are you saying? My brother would murder me. Take my crown. Be careful, Pysel! You? Your grace doesn't want it, shit either! It was Varys the spider. You see, I told Varys that I was giving the princess to the Greyjoys. Well, your great great grandson, but not for the throne. The king's firstborn child, Rhaenyra. A girl. Oh hell, baby, no our queen has ever sat the Iron Throne. That is only by tradition and precedent. If strength. order and stability so concerns this council, then perhaps we shouldn't break one hundred years of it by naming a girl heir. Damon would be a second Maegor, or worse. He is impossible. He's in there listening violence. to everything. It is the duty of this council to protect the king and the realm from him. I'm sorry, your grace, but that is the truth as I see it. And I know that others here like, agree. I will not be made to choose between my brother and my daughter. You wouldn't have to, your grace. There are others who would have a claim. <laughs> Such as your wife, Lord Corlys. But the queen who never was. The, the queen who never that the was. was. Son. She had a strong claim at the great council. And she already has a male Just heir. moments ago, you announced your support for Damon. If we cannot agree on an heir, then how can we My expect a My wife and son are dead. I will not sit here and suffer crows that come to feast on their corpses. Yeah, y'all knocked this shit off for a while, cool. Let that man moan for his family. I don't trust this motherfucker right here. I don't know why, but I just don't trust him. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust Damien either. Straight away. They go Pycelle's great-great-granddaddy. I don't trust his ass either. It was Varys the spider. You see, I told Varys that I was giving the princess to the Greyjoys. How is his grace? Very low. Which is why I sent for you. What? I thought you might go to him. Offer him comfort. What the fuck you say? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? In these chambers. I told you! I told you I don't like this motherfucker! I wouldn't know what to say. What the fuck? It's not that. He'll be glad of a visitor. What? You might wear one of your mother's dresses. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Daughter off. 
Yo, send that child out of there, man. Send her. What is it, Allison? I thought I might come and look in on your grace. Girl, get up on home. I brought a book. Get your ass out of here. Go on home. Just go on home. It's very kind. Thank you. I know you're doing what you was told, but just... just it's a favorite of mine. Just go home. I do know how passionate you are for the histories. Yes, I am. He ain't thinking about this young girl. When my mother died, people only ever spoke to me in riddles. All I wanted was for someone to say that they were sorry for what happened to me. I'm very sorry, Your Grace. <laughs> he hurting. He hurting. What the fuck? It's a goddamn orgy. This yams everywhere. This this yams smell like but this in there. Y'all know what this is. Before we begin, Your Grace, I have a report I feel compelled to share. Last night, Prince Damon bought out one of the pleasure houses on the Street of Silk. Two. Entertain officers of the City Watch and other friends of his. King and Council have long moved my position as next in line to the throne. But, dream and pray as they all might, it seems I'm not so easily replaced. The gods give just as the gods take away. He toasted Prince Balon, the king's son, styling him the heir for a day. I don't know what you mean. You will address me as your grace, or I will have my king's guard cut out your tongue. The heir for a day. Did you say it? We must all mourn in our own way, your grace. My family has just been destroyed. But instead of being by my side or near us, you chose to celebrate your own rise, laughing with your whores and your leg spittles. You have no allies at court but me. I have only ever defended you. Yet everything I've given you, you've thrown back in my face. You've only ever tried to send me away to the Vale, to the City Watch, anywhere but by your side. Ten years you've been king, and yet not once have you asked me to be your hand. Why would I do that? Because I'm your brother. And the blood of the dragon runs thick. Then why do you cut me so deep? I've only ever spoken the truth. I see Otto Hightower for what he is. An unwavering and loyal A hand. A cunt. A second son who stands to inherit nothing he doesn't seize for himself. Otto Hightower is a more honorable man than you could ever be. He doesn't protect you. I would. From what? Yourself. You're weak, Miss Ares. Shit! And the Council of Leeches knows it. They all play on you for their own ends. Shit! Oh, oh God decided damn! To go anywhere. I'm your heir. Not anymore. You are to return to Runestone and your lady wife at once. And you are to do so without quarrel. By order of your king. Woo! Oh, goddamn! All hell for the break loose. All hell for the break loose. All hell is about to break loose. What the fuck? So, is, is that how he got that cut on his back with the damn. Swords? The fuck is that? Goddamn dinosaur head? That can't be no fucking dragon. 
the fuck is that? Father. Look like a goddamn Kraken. Valerian was the last living creature to have seen old Valeria before the doom. Its greatness and its flaws. When you look at the dragons, what did you see? Everyone says Targaryens are closer to gods than to men. But they say that because of our dragons. Without them, we're just like everyone else. The idea that we control the dragons is an illusion. They are a power men should never have trifled with. When they brought Valeria, it's doom. If we don't mind our own histories, it will do the same to us. Targaryen must understand this to be king. Or queen. I'm sorry, Rhaenyra. I have wasted the years since you were born. One thing for a son. But I believe that you... Corlys of House Valarian. Baby Dar Julian and Master of Driftmark. Baby Dar Julian. Call us Valarian. Lord of the Tides and Master of Driftmark. Give me your hand. Might be difficult for you to understand, but you must hear it. Our histories. They tell us that Egon looked across the Blackwater from Dragonstone. So a rich land ripe for the capture. But ambition alone is not what drove him to conquest. It was a dream. And just as Danis foresaw the end of Valyria, Egon foresaw the end of the world of men. It is to begin with a terrible winter, gusting out of the distant north. I'm Rickon Stark, Lord of Winterfell. Egon saw wow, absolute Rickon Stark! And whatever dwells within will destroy the world of the living. What the fuck? When this great winter comes, Rhaenyra, all of Westeros... This is so dope! And if the world of men is to survive, a Targaryen must be seated on the Iron Throne. A king or queen, strong enough to unite the realm against the cold and the dark. Are we gonna see the Mad King? Aegon called his dream the Song of Ice and Fire. The secret been passed from king to heir since Egon's time. Now you must promise to carry it. This is so dope! Promise me this, Renera. Promise me. I, Viserys Targaryen, first of his name, King of the Andals and the Roynar and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm, do hear my name, Rhaenyra Targaryen, Princess of Dragonstone and heir to the Iron Throne. Baby Dar Junior! Baby Dar Junior! Damn. Now you need to find you a little big man or a thirsty. Pick one. Tyrion Lannister was right. I love you. Okay. What a great start. To the first episode. Now, when this was in the works, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot of rumors out there that it was going to suck because Game of Thrones ended the way it did in episode 8. Y'all know, y'all know the story. So people was trashing this House of Dragons, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know George got his hand all in this, right? And those old writers are gone. Y'all know that, you know what I'm saying? We talked about it already. This shit is off the chain. The first episode was so good, it just sucked you in. It's so good. Um, 
Ramirez, Ramirez, Khaleesi, the little baby doll junior. She looked just like Khaleesi, just like her, like a twin sister, but she looked like she a little younger. So she ended up being the heir. Damien's gonna be a fucking problem, all right. And he took that red, that red dragon with him, right? So it's gonna be a problem. What is gonna happen is I already see it coming. This, this is a, my prediction that there's gonna be a showdown between Damien and Baby Doll Jr. All right, with the dragons, cause he gonna come back and wanna raise hell because, you know how the brother, you know, just cussed his ass out, sent him away, uh, and told him to take his wife with him. So it's gonna be problems with Damien. I already see that coming. The king is already sick with some type of shit growing on him. Um, so he already got his daughter in place. So now is she going to be like the OG baby doll? Or is she going to be like her daddy? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know where they're going. You know what I'm saying? I'm still learning characters. I don't really know all the characters. I know the hand of the king. I don't trust him. I don't know his name yet. Um, Pycelle's great, 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 great granddaddy on here. Uh, I don't know how he is yet. Um, the other lady, the Hand of the King's daughter, the one that looked like Sansa. I, I don't, I don't, I can't figure everybody out. I'm not going to get it on the first episode. All right. I know y'all have read the books. I know y'all know everything. I don't know if they going by the books or if there's just something they just, George just doing. I don't know. I don't know shit about House House of Dragons. Same way I didn't know shit about Game of Thrones, all right? All I know, this shit is fire, all right? Fire. Okay, y'all, we're going to get on out of here. I can't wait to episode two. I'm still learning this shit. I know y'all don't read the books. Like I said, I don't know shit. So y'all bear with me. Give me time to learn everybody. All I know is Damien is the, like the antagonist, uh, the brother the king, he's cool, but he's on his way out. Uh, Baby Dog Dreams, the queen now. And I, that's all I know for right now. That's all I know. That's all I know. All right. Love y'all. See y'all in episode two. All right. Love y'all. Subscribe. Oh.